Good morning, everybody. This is uh, Pastor Rick, and uh, this devotional uh, happens to be in my car because uh, 7 a.m. is kind of a crazy time. I don't know about you. Uh, for uh, the Jones family, it's pretty crazy. So the car is a safe place. And so uh, I'm sharing with you in the intimate place of my car. How many feel the same way? It's a safe place in the car. Can I get an amen? Amen. Uh, today, we're going to be uh, doing our devotional from once again from God on Mute, and this is day 26. And this is called Naked Trust. And I'm gonna read from Psalms 31, verses nine through 10. Listen to the word of the Lord. Be merciful to me, Lord, for I am in distress. My eyes grow weak with sorrow, my soul and body with grief. My life is consumed by anguish and my years by groaning. My strength fails because of my affliction and my bones grow weak. Has there ever been a time for you when you needed to surrender, you just completely surrendered to something? And if you did, just type it in the comment section where you just had to have faith. You're like, I don't know what's gonna happen. This is bigger than me and I'm just gonna have faith and get through it. It takes you back to a time when uh, I was a youngster. I was young. Um, and I went to camp for the first time. And uh, it was in North Carolina, the beautiful state of North Carolina in uh, Brevard. Um, and I went to a place called Camp Tacoa. First time I ever went uh, and my parents dropped me off and I had this lump in my throat. I was like, Lord have mercy. How am I gonna get through this camp? Cause that's the longest my parents have ever been away from me. Uh, Cause they had to drive back home to High Point, which is about three hours. And I had to be there an entire week. And so I was like, what in the world did I do? How can I get through this? And I was scared to death. Even had a lump in my throat, was about to start crying, but I was trying to hold back the tears. And uh, But I just trusted God. And I remember the camp counselor, uh, her name was Robin. And she came and sat beside me and just comforted me. And uh, and that was it. The rest of the week was great. But um, I had to surrender because this was new. The camp was out in the woods. We didn't really know the woods that well. Away from my parents. Uh, for a long time and I was like, okay, God, I'm just gonna have to trust you and God delivered and it was a great great week that I do believe That through camp experiences and so forth is the reason why um, I'm in ministry uh, right now because of the people uh, The love and the experiences that I had is uh, why I'm in ministry. So uh, trusting God at that moment paid off and um, To where I am right now. So I want to encourage you this morning if you're in a moment where you're just trying to hold tight to everything and, and trying to be in complete control and it seems to be slipping away from your hands, surrender, surrender, surrender to God and just trust God that God is working all things for good, all things for good and uh, and God will get you through, amen. So I want to read uh, it's about asking, uh, it's a prayer, about asking the Holy Spirit to, just to be there with you and it says this, I ask the Holy Spirit now to disturb any complacency that might have crept into my life, to take me on new adventures, however small, to give me the kind of courage that comes from having eternal perspective. Amen. Amen. Be blessed on this day, a day 26, uh, for my devotional God on Mute, A Naked Trust. God bless you.